Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 8th to January 14, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right. Let's see your energy. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Scorpio, Scorpio. What's the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week? All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups, the Emperor, Ace of Swords, and Ten of Wands. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Chariot card. Six of Swords. Alright. It does look like you're trying to keep someone away from you, um, Scorpio, with the Seven of Wands. Oh, hold on. This energy is a little confusing. Tell me about the Emperor to the Ace of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the High Priestess. Yeah, I'm getting an energy of, I said what I said. I feel like that's what you're saying here. I said what I said, and I'm not going to change my mind. My decision is final. My decision is final. Yeah, there's someone who doesn't intend to um, let you go, doesn't intend to walk away from this relationship. Um, I mean, they're in the background, they're lurking in the back in the background with the Seven of Swords. Could be, could be an Aquarius for some of you. They're watching you, they're stalking you, spying on you. They're waiting for the right moment to approach you, to take action towards you and, and communicate with you with the eight of wands. They're waiting for the right time. They're holding back. They're holding back right now, currently, because they feel like you're upset with them. They feel like you're angry with them, so they're holding back. But this person feels like they've already invested a lot of time and energy into this relationship with you, and they don't intend to go down without a fight. Um, you, Scorpio, I feel like you're giving this person the silent treatment. I feel like you're very disappointed with the Four of Cups. You were expecting something from this person, or... Um, you were hoping for something to happen between you and this person, um, but I, I feel like this person wasn't able to deliver what you were hoping that they that they deliver, or that that they would have delivered.
And I feel like you're making the decision to cut this person out of your life with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. You feel like you have to be strict with the Emperor card. You feel like you have to be strict with this person. And at this time, you feel like you have to be cold or you have to be stern. Um, tell me more about this emperor connected to Scorpio. Ten of Swords and the Hermit card. There's something about tough love is what I'm getting also, tough love. It kind of looks like you already gave this person multiple chances and each time this person has failed you and disappointed you. Um, and I feel like you're just in this energy of feeling like there has to be, be there has to be something better um, There has to be something better, like the grass has to be greener on the other side, you know? It just has to be. The grass has to be greener on the other side. Okay. So I, I also feel like you're being tough with your own self, Scorpio. I feel like you're... Um, you're forcing yourself to not get emotional and to not fall in fall into any temptation in regards to this person. Yeah. You're forcing you're forcing yourself to not fall in into temptation and not allow yourself to get influenced by this person in any way shape or form. Okay, let's go over to your person side. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Scorpio for this week? Eight of Swords wanted to show its face. Might be dealing with a Gemini. their energy towards you Scorpio we have death we also have the Empress at the bottom of the deck the Emperor the five of Pentacles the nine of wands and the five of wands so we do have the Emperor and the Empress here showing up this is a, a true pair a divine match soulmates so there is a very strong intense connection between you and this person Hmm. Now, in this person's energy towards you, five of wands to the magician, to the six of pentacles, queen of cups, three of wands. Okay. Hmm. I definitely feel like this, okay, this is complex. This is, co the, these are complex emotions and complex, complex thoughts. It's not cookie cutter here. This is very intricate. There's a lot of different emotions and feelings and thoughts going on here. There's a lot of clashing going on here as well. So I feel like this person is missing you. I am getting a strong energy of them missing you. Th 
There's also an energy of them feeling like you're over them, like you're done with them, like you're gone, you're gone for good with the death card. They do feel left out in the cold, they feel abandoned, and they are feeling hurt and wounded with the Nine of Wands. I feel like they want to say something to you. I feel like they want to fix things with you, but they are holding themselves back from doing so. Let's see why. Let me look at that. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, Spirit, and this person's energy towards Scorpio, please. Uh, we have the King of Swords. And we have the hangman. Well, they, fe they feel like it would be pointless or useless to have a conversation with you. At least at this time, at this moment. We do have the hangman, which can represent that they're delaying a conversation with you. They're waiting for the right time to have a conversation with you a little bit further up ahead. Um, into the future because it kind of looks like right now they feel like it would potentially be a waste of time they feel like you don't really want to hear from them they feel like you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to see them or or talk to them because it looks like there was some sort of big fight or argument between the two of you with the five of ones or some sort of drama or conflict that happened between the two of you. So they feel like right now. That right now they're probably not going to um, achieve any resolutions with you. It's like the, the energy is too heated. At this moment. So they're, they're holding back, but I do feel like this person has a lot that they want to say to you, is what I'm getting. And I am, I'm also getting that they really miss you with the Queen of Cups, this person, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, but this person's feeling really emotional about this breakup, this argument, this separation. They do feel like they are missing their other half because they do view you as their other half. Again, we have the emperor and the empress here. So they do view you as their other half and their soulmate. And they are feeling pretty um, incomplete at this moment. And there is a sense of emptiness and a sense of um, loneliness and, and heartache that they're experiencing. And like I said, they want to say a lot here. I feel like there's a lot that they want to communicate, but they feel like it's not a good idea to, um, to get close to you at this moment. They feel like you need your space. Okay. So Scorpio, I'm going to stop the reading right here and I'm going to now continue in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you? What actions will they be taking towards you moving forward? And what's the overall, overall outcome going to be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.